This is Mr. Brilliant St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Uh, this is the second video in the, the series. We're going to have a few actually. I'm going to start with, um, I want to back up a step actually from my last video. My last video I had you uh, drawing the wheel and I had you doing this, the wheel arch or the fender flare I guess. But there's something I want to do here. I want to back up one step. So the, the wheel itself of the car, uh, you can see this has to be cut out because the it's it's this is hollow this whole area up in here and to do that um, just gonna come back here I'm gonna go create sketch I'm gonna sit on this face here take a sketching tool and I'm gonna go just start out here somewhere I'm gonna just like the previous videos, videos I'm gonna go rough like you could follow this around perfectly perfectly all the way down here I'm just gonna do it rough for, for the time being I'm just gonna use straight lines and I would expect that you would use curve tools or the like and I come into down here and I'm going to come back to here and I right click and I'm going to press pull this section here and it doesn't matter if you're doing a car or you're doing a Jeep or whatever it's always been the same there's going to, there's going to be a hollow space for your wheel now to know how far in to, to take that you just simply go to the to your view and you can go right into here in this particular situation it's easy to see it you can see the the hollow area runs right to roughly right there you can see it ends there Okay, so I click OK, come back to the side view now, and you'll see now I have a cutout. And I'm going to do the same exact same thing to the front. I'm going to take the sketch, sketch here, create a line tool, come out from here somewhere, walk it up around here, across to here. Oh, that was a bad one. Whenever you grab a line like that, it, uh, it wants to attach it. I want to go past that line down like that, somewhere like this, right click, press, pull it, same thing as before, we're going to cut, so a few distance, new body, we're going to cut it, it no, actually it knows as soon as you start pulling inside it knows it's going to cut, but nevertheless, and same thing as here, I'm going to bring it in, you can see roughly around there, click OK, and now I have spots for my wheels. So now the wheels themselves would actually sit in this face. So I'm going to go create sketch. I'm going to sit in this face here. Now some people are probably wondering why I'm not doing the wheels as a component. I just find it adds a degree of complexity for this 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 uh, cohort or this age group. It's not really value added in my time right now. So I do, I am familiar with them and I know what's to do it and you can do it, but I, nevertheless I'm going to do this way. Sit on this face. <clears throat> already done this one. This is uh, just kind of the last one we had actually cut out stuff and whatnot, but I just, just for this sake I want to show this. So we're going to go like this and we're going to pull this one out now. And whenever you do this, I like to go with new body so it doesn't join it to the... Now if you go to this view, the front view, you'll see how far I have to pull the tire, pull the wheel. So you just drag the wheel out to there. Click OK. And now I've got my wheel. Right click in here you can see there's my wheel okay now I would sit on that face and do the, exactly the same thing as I'm going to cut it in the next video I'll show you we're going to we'll design the wheel better and then we'll copy the wheel over here to the other side but for right now this is I want to leave off with that that's pretty much pretty much the second video um, same thing here we can come in I'll just we'll go over it one more time with the fender flare now that we've got that cut out we sit on this face and we take the fender flare and we're going to draw it something like this again you would do a much better job than I'm doing, just rectangles. And I'm going to come down here. Actually, I'm going to back up a step. I'm going to go to there. And then I'll walk across. I'm going to come inboard a little bit. I'm going to follow it like that. Because there would definitely be a little bit of a lip anyways. Unless it simplifies things. Again, this, you could easily have done this as a component as well, but I just want to keep it simple. So, now you bring the fender flare out, and to know how far it out to go, you just bring it like this, 
I said the last video, and you can see right there. There's actually two fender flares. There's this one here is steel. Then there's a piece here that if you look at an actual picture, what you'll see there's a rubber one. So you could come here if you want to get really fastidious or you really want to do a nice job. That's what you would do. You'd start off with that. You'd sculpt that. You'd put radiuses on it and so on. And then you draw the, your, your little lip on there outside there. And again, new body. You click OK. And there you have it. And again, we do we do the whole side of this vehicle and then we'll mirror the other side. The next video I'm going to show you again how to do the wheels better. Move the wheels over here. We're going to, of course, need a wheel on the back as well. So we can do it like that. We can also do um, the, well, the video after that. I'm going to do the wheels for, and, then I'll, and then I will come in here and I'll show you how to, to sculpt this side pieces.